Like countless sensitive children, I wrote letters to fairies and left them in the garden overnight. I would always get replies. Thanks, Mum. Indigenous cultures all over the world tell stories of the Fae. Little people. Tricksters. Enchanted beings who sometimes fly. The folklore can get pretty dark. Changelings. Getting lost in fairy rings. Things or people being stolen. A means to explain the unexplained or explain what feels too confronting to look at without the veil of a tale, of a story. I'm fascinated by the companionship between danger and well-meaning mischief. As an adult, my obsession with Fay is a means to commune with my inner child. When life gets too serious, or rather, when I take myself too seriously, lights begin to flicker. I laugh in my sleep. My step is charged by a supernatural spring. The Fay intervene. Remind me of the need for chaotic good, to prioritise play, to laugh in the face of overwhelm, or sadness, or fear. And that's what drew me to aerial arts as an adult. Okay, so, I'm undeniably human, I can't actually be a fairy, but I can move like one. I can spin, and whirl, and hang, and maybe even fly. I spent a lot of time lost in daydream and fantasy about fairies as a kid. And now, I'm living out those strange cinematic visions. I was a weird girl. And now I'm a weird adult. <laughs> trying to dance that balance between play and delusion. have to touch down on earth at some point. <laughs>